Hey, this is Lamar Sina. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I know the holidays just went by so quickly. At first it's so stressful and then, then it's done and over. All my, all my kids, they just had such a good time. But anyway, uh, just got back from camping up by Brooksville. If you ever go camping in Florida, you should go to Lakewood Retreat. Greatest campground I've ever been to in the state of Florida. Uh, let's see, what have I been doing woodworking? Well, uh, lots of planning. <laughs> I'm going to make a uh, musical recorder. I'm going to make um, five videos. It's going to take five videos on, on making it, but it's going to be step by step and it's going to be very detailed measurements. Um, the, first, the first video is going to be about my planning what I had to do and um, the measurements to, uh, to make it. Uh, second video, I'm going to make something called a reaming tool. And, uh, well, I guess you probably heard about getting reamed out at work or at home. Um, after you drill the hole through a recorder, you don't want a straight hole through the recorder. You want it to be a little bit larger towards the top and then slightly curved and narrower towards the bottom. So after you drill the hole, you use something called a, a reaming tool. The recorder has three pieces. I'm going to do a, a video for each of the three pieces. Um, anyway, um, I've been working on some walnut bowls. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, let me get you up closer. So I'm going to end up with three identical bowls and um, it'll either be like this or maybe thicker like that. Um, I have to I have to finish this bowl and then we'll see how, how I like it. And then I'll make, make those. And then I'm going to make um, three more. Um, eight inch wide, two inch thick. Uh, cherry bowls exactly the same as one of those two bowls. So I'll let you know after I do finish this um, and then that'll be the skill builder is uh, making bowls um, as closely identical as possible. Uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, couple things I did differently. Uh, I used a, a, a screw um, on the, uh, the top of the bowl and a waste block behind the bowl. And I really think that I prefer a face plate instead of a screw. Because when you drill a hole into the wood, if you're not exactly perfect, it's going to cause the wood to wobble when, when you insert the screw and put it on the wood lathe. Because of the wobble, I have a 8 quarter inch board that I turned into a walnut bowl. I probably lost a quarter of an inch because of the wobble. Um, the, the, if you buy, um, if you used a log or had something rough and not planed, I guess a face plate, it would, it would be out of balance too. But if you're making it out of a board, um, eight quarter board that's two inches thick um, and you put, you can put a face plate on the side on the board it'd be flat and it should be pretty balanced um, a lot more balanced than an uneven drill in a screw um, another thing is I used um, let's see if I have an example um, my whole family does Taekwondo and uh, we, we uh, break boards. Well, this is pine and I used pine as the, the waste block. Um, while it was spinning, I, I um, trued it up and then I used it as a waste block. And um, I think I didn't have any problems, but if um, I can see there being a problem because pine is, is not strong. So I'm going to start using hickory, and I bought a board of hickory, and I'm going to use that for my waste blocks. So I 
I decided to use fur for the recorder. I, I was going to get a board and, and uh, uh, I, well I found this. It's um, two inches thick, uh, already pretty much rounded. It's a handrail fur and I'm going to make a recorder out of that. And uh, let's see. Oh, I got some cedar wood. I don't know if you can see that. I got some cedar wood. And I'll be using that to make the reeds. I'm going to make uh, multiple ones. This is supposed to be a chair, but it turned out it just became the, one of the best tables I have ever had. Uh, I, uh, I'm going to route this table uh, and then I'm going to take the legs off and uh, make some beads, some coves, some uh, what do they call it, flower pots, um, maybe some V's and uh, I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll have to see how that turns out. I went to uh, a Pinewood Derby wood workshop and I'm going to do a video on this guy. He's a uh, woodworker here in Lakeland, Florida. And he has the most amazing uh, wood workshop I've ever seen. Um, hands down, beats every workshop I've ever seen on YouTube and, and anywhere else. Um, but he gave me a piece of walnut. He said he makes tables and this is like a short end for him. This is walnut, three inches thick. Uh, I believe it's seven inches wide. Um, gonna make a bowl out of that. Something I noticed is, is there's a knot right there, but I believe it only goes down maybe a quarter of an inch, and that's on the bottom. I'm, I'm, I might make a uh, a four-inch lip uh, going around, and then and then taper that up. So. But I think that'll be neat, and I still have room, a lot of room for something else. Look how thick that is. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, uh, blah blah blah, kind of reorganized my stuff, I don't know if you saw it, uh, it was just getting so built up, uh, bought some more Purple Heart, and I uh, need to order some pen kits, just love those pen now over here is uh, lacewood. I'm sure you can see the grain pattern. It's pretty amazing. I was really excited about it last year, but I, I was gonna and I was gonna make some pens, and uh, I just um, I fell in love with Purple Heart. Uh, I was I was, it was so intense and concentrating on Purple Heart that I actually didn't use this board uh, to make pens, but I'm. That's definitely going to be one of my videos this year. Over here on my desk, I have this um, white oak. Um, I, I was making pens out of him. Um, and I made, a, I don't know, a dozen before I got tired of, of that and went to Purple Heart. Um, over here, this is uh, Paduk. And... Uh, these are really thin, well not, that's not thin, but some of them are really thin, um, and some are thick. I'm, I made a bracelet last year for my, my daughter, and uh, I'm thinking I'm going to make some boxes out of, out of uh, some of these pieces, uh, but I'm also going to um, segment these. And um, I don't know, I want to make at least two or three projects out of Paduk and Purple Heart. I'm really looking forward to the videos and the, and the woodworking projects that I have planned for this year. Um, I've seen a couple people make, make spoons and uh, when I'm done making these bowls, I'm going to make some uh, solid spoons. Um, 
in a different way than other people do. Um, but I'll be using a wood lathe for part of it. And uh, I think you'll like that. Um, that's pretty much it for now. I know it's a lot of talking, not any doing uh, today, but um, well, with the holidays and stuff, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't been making any videos and this is just something to get me kick-started and going back into making videos. Um, I hope you watch my videos. This is Lamar signing. See you later.